In this video, I'm going to try to convince you that Python is the only programming language you need to learn if you want to learn how to code, and why anything else is a waste of time. Kind of. I will also show you why ChatGPT makes this more true than ever. So you decided you want to learn how to code. Maybe because you heard it's a good way to make money, which it is. Maybe it's because it gives you the flexibility to work remotely while traveling the world, which it does. Maybe you just love your computer and want to have a deeper relationship with it. All these are great reasons, and I want to use my more than 10 years of experience to save you the headache of deciding what language to start with, so you can directly hop onto a Python tutorial after finishing this video. Reason number one, Python is super popular. Python consistently ranks among the most popular programming languages worldwide. With Python only really being a mainstream programming language since the early 2000s, it's rapidly grown to become listed as one of the top 10 languages in the world for over 20 years in a row. It was the only language in history to be selected as programming language of the year five separate times. But what exactly makes Python so popular? Reason number two, Python is super easy. Its inventor Gita van Rossum designed it to be as clean, easy to code and readable to humans as possible. Python is much easier to learn, code in and maintain compared to other famous programming languages like C and Java. You don't need to understand complicated computer science concepts such as typing, memory allocation or garbage collection. Python deals with those details for you. It just works. Python is designed for readability, enabling self-documentation and code structuring. If you just take a look at code from different programming languages, that becomes pretty clear. Reason number three, Python is multi-purpose and powerful. Python is a complete and general purpose programming language with capabilities comparable to its more specialized siblings like MATLAB, R, or SQL, but it can do so much more. Not only is it the most popular language in scientific communities for data analysis, data visualization, artificial intelligence, it's also very popular for scripting and automation, building web apps, mobile apps, and many other things because of its large selection of libraries and add-ons. Many of the largest companies in the world use Python internally or for their websites. Reason number four. Python is huge. Because of its popularity and versatility, there's a gigantic active community that can help you when you're stuck. There are countless tutorials for Python online, even for the most niche applications. People are often friendly and happy to help if you post questions on forums. Also, lots of freely available code is hosted on platforms such as GitHub to use as you wish or get inspired. Additionally, because of the large community, someone most likely has solved your problem before and some library might exist that easily solves your problem already. This usually results in you having to write a single line of code instead of spending days writing your own functions and classes. Reason number five, Python is in high demand. It shouldn't be a surprise that Python's popularity resulted in a high demand for Python developers across various industries. Learning Python opens up diverse job opportunities from software development to data analysis and machine learning with average salaries easily clearing the six-figure mark. Reason number six, rapid prototyping and development. Python's concise syntax, dynamic typing, and landscape of libraries allow for rapid prototyping and development. This is particularly valuable for startups and projects requiring quick iterations and testing. With Python, you can easily have a prototype ready in just a few hours instead of days or weeks. Reason number seven, Python is awesome for automation and scripting. Python's simplicity makes it an excellent choice for automation and scripting tasks. It's ideal for automating system administration, writing scripts for data processing, or creating simple utilities. Or just renaming your 15,000 cat pictures in 10 seconds instead of 10 days. Reason number eight, Python has tons of tools and interfaces. Again, due to its massive popularity, many companies, software platforms, and tools offer Python interfaces for their services, giving Python an edge over other languages. Reason number nine, Python is king of AI and data science. Because of its ease of learning, Python was adopted early by statisticians and other scientists for research in data science and machine learning. This has led to a large open source community of research libraries, including dominant machine learning and AI libraries. Also, since nowadays ChatGPT can help you write code and it was trained on the most popular languages, Python is one of the languages it will be able to help you with most and with the least mistakes. So if you don't want to be left behind in times of AI and ChatGPT, Python is your language. Last but not least, reason number 10, Python is fun. The ease of use of Python, the large, humorous, and helpful community make Python one of the most fun languages to learn and practice. I speak from personal experience as someone who has spent hours debugging JavaScript code only to do the same thing in Python in about five minutes. Python is fun, applications are endless. I hope you're convinced that if you're just starting out, Python is the way to go. Other languages have their place. For mobile and app development, you won't want to skip JavaScript, for example. But even if you're sure you want to do that, other languages can be overwhelming at first. So I would still suggest you start with Python to gain confidence before taking on other languages. So just go ahead and watch your first Python tutorial, either on this channel or elsewhere. I will leave some links in the description.